are all original metal bands doing, and there's different genres of metal yeah. bands. Although there is, well, there was one pop act that was kind of one. Right. Band. Yeah, but she kind of like brought rock into it, but. But yeah, I mean, so if you want to check them out, you haven't heard of them, obviously you could Google them. Yes. But a uh, fantastic band. Great they, show they, to watch to see like more about the band. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And they, they opened for Zach Sabbath that night and uh, they were just great. Yeah. So when, I don't know what you thought, my thoughts, like it's, it was kind of amazing to see Zach Sabbath and Zach Wild play Black Sabbath songs. And that was obviously all covers. But it didn't feel like a cover show in so many ways because Zach Wild was Zach Wild, yep. not Tony Iommi on those classic Black Sabbath songs. I felt like in a lot of ways I was watching a Black Label Society show. Yeah, I'd agree. You know, he, he definitely puts his his mark and his vibrato and yeah. everything into the Black Sabbath tunes, which is interesting because, you know, obviously the Pantera tour yeah. and he's playing – um, there was a couple things that were online and that I read where he worked directly with Dimebag's guitar tech yeah. because he wanted to be not necessarily album quality, but he wanted to have Dime's tone. And so he, he works so that when they're playing and he's playing the Pantera tunes, he sounds like Dimebag. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Is definitely not how he sounded with, with Zach's album. Yeah. Yeah, but it was great. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm a big Black Label fan. I'm an Ozzy fan with Zach Wild, so I will watch any of those incarnations of Zach Wild playing. And so, yeah, I mean, Pantera with Zach Wild. I mean, I we get into that with all, all the cover bands that we've interviewed, right? right? Like, do you try to sound like as authentic as the original songs right. that are studio recorded as 